In the early hours of August 21st, 2013, rockets containing the chemical sarin were deployed against the city of Gauta, Syria. Because of that attack, nearly 1,500 individuals lost their lives. Sarin belongs to a group of chemicals called nerve agents, which are lethal in only milligram doses. More recently, many of you may have read news stories about similar nerve agents in the news, including the assassination of Kim Jong-nam in 2016 and attempted assassination of former Russian spy Sergei Skripal earlier this year. People exposed to a nerve agent will experience salivation, uh, muscle tremors, difficulty breathing, and seizures, among other signs and symptoms. Unfortunately, our current therapies rely heavily on rapid treatment. And even then, occasionally, some studies suggest that long-term neurophysiological deficits may persist. We hope to develop a, a prophylactic treatment to be available to individuals at a higher risk of exposure, such as soldiers and first responders. We plan to do this by utilizing an enzyme called butyral cholinesterase, or BCHE, represented by the yellow notched circles on my slide. This enzyme essentially acts like a sponge in your bloodstream. It's able to bind and hold on to these molecules, represented as triangles up here, and prevent them from causing harm. If you inject an individual with BCHE, they will be protected from uh, intoxication by nerve agents up to two times a lethal dose. However, that begs the question, what happens if someone is exposed to more than that? Because remember, these can be toxic in only milligram doses. Uh, so what we hope to do is engineer this enzyme to get rid of that upper limit, as on the right side of the slide there. Instead of one molecule, BCHE will be able to bind, inactivate, and then regenerate. Using computational modeling techniques, we have identified a region on the surface of this protein that we think may make this switch. By making mutations in this region, we aim to increase the protein's native dynamic motion, and in, which will in turn increase the regenerative ability of this enzyme. With an ideal engineered BCHE, a therapeutic dose of this enzyme would be able to protect an individual uh, against large amounts of this chemical. Ultimately, uh, we hope to aid soldiers and first responders and their ability to protect us in any sort of chemical terrorism crisis. Thank you.